Todd Rostein of Great Falls Construction Gourmet. And I'm here at 49 Lisbon Street at the Paleon Residence. And I just wanted to show you, obviously this is an old, old warehouse. And when we re renovate the building, it's gonna have some new finished floors. And so there's also, of course, gonna be some repair work. And when we do that, I just wanted to sh give you a quick look at some of the the lengths that we go through to actually give a really nice job. So, on a flooring job, you've got an underlayment, and then you've got your finished floors. Now, in this application, the uh, original construction had a tongue and groove, narrow plank uh, installation. And I'll just show you right here, where we've got, we've got our old board. There's the side, you can tell, with the tongue and the side with the groove. And as you line them up with each other, they fit tightly together. Now over the years, you'll have some issues where they just warp, they'll have some problems in some old houses or some old warehouses that may not have been taken care of as well. And that's what we have in this place. You've got your original sub flooring, and then you've got your actual material. Now to reinstall, you don't want to just cut a straight spot and then just put in new. It just looks like there was a patch job. So I'm over here, I'm just going to meet with George over at Adams Finished Carpentry and he's just showing us right now how the process of toothing in old finished wood that's going to be repaired and replace with new wood and make it a seamless project. So George, how are we doing? Good, and yourself? Good. So I see that there's on the floor here, you've got a straight edge. I've taken one piece out already. Yeah. Um, and I've stepped it back. And then I'll bring this one to about here. Right. And cut this. And we have to cut the tongue off it as we go because when the next piece goes in, you, it'll hit that tongue, you won't be able to get them in. That's right. And so you take the tongues off, make them nice and smooth, so your next piece is ready to go in. Now what type of tools do you use just to get that? Um, I have a multi-tool here that, that works really good. Oh, um, that's right. We do the butt ends with them. Yes. Um, that way I don't cut into the next piece. Right. And then I have to rip it down the side to take a little piece out to be able to pull it out to get the tongue out from the other piece. So it takes a little finesse. Oh yes, that's, a lot of finesse. That's right, you see because you've got the, um, the multi-tool, you've got your razor, you've got a little skill, skill saw. saw to, that's right. To make a, a cut, like when I go to do this one, right. this one will be easy because there's nothing against it. Right. But this one will come out down to here so I have to cut a groove out of this piece. Right and pull it out to be able to pull this out to be able to get this tongue out enough to lift it back up. That's right. Now I see this is where the tongue is right here. Right. And then the ones just next to it are nice and flat so you'll be able to drop in some new pieces. Right. They'll, they'll slide right in. That's right. Show me uh, some of the finished area that you've already taken care of, George. Um, I've already uh, stepped all of this back. Um, we're waiting for the uh, the new tongue and groove boards to be milled up now right. and delivered. And once they're delivered, we'll start filling them in and bringing them right up to the baseboard. Wow, so look at all this area. What's, how long does this take you to do? Um, this is about three days worth of work. Is that right? Three eight hour days. And it's about 12 feet, I'd say? Maybe 14 feet across? Probably about 14. Right, and you see how you just did, and once you get a groove here, the, no pun intended, but you have just different levels each time and that'll actually give, when it's all finished, the new wood and then we'll sand down the old wood and it really will look like it was uh, intentionally uh, originally installed. If we just had a straight line, your eye would be able to pick that up very easily. Yes. But when you stagger it, which is called toothing, right. you're able to blend in the old and the new. It's very impressive, very clean. And it makes the butt joints stronger. Got it, right, when you start putting because them. Because they're not all together. Yes, that's right, got it. So, thank you, George. Again, this is Todd Rothstein of Great Falls Construction, Gore, Maine. If you're interested in seeing more about this project, feel free to give us a call at 839-2744. Look us up on the web at greatfallsinc.com. 
and we'll be able to just show you more of what we're doing at 49 Lisbon Street. Thank you.